the Department of, Department of Health is tasked with the mission of ensuring every Filipino is healthy. All year round, its mandate responds to many challenges. To end 2012 and welcome 2013, the DOH is on red alert to quickly respond to injuries and prevent the loss of lives as our people celebrate New Year's Eve on December 31. Tonight, we'll also talk to Secretary Enrique Ana on key issues related to the government's overall health program. Good evening, Secretary Ana. Thank you for joining us here on News Live. Good evening, Robert. And so, yes. be a guest of your program this evening. So a few days before Christmas, how many firecracker-related injuries were already recorded by the DOH? And is your Gangnam campaign banning firecrackers succeeding? Well, as of today, uh, compared with the same period last year, there is a decrease of about 25%, and that is about 150 cases already since uh, we started counting uh, last December of uh, 23. So is the PNP and the local governments working with you, your office in this campaign? Oh yes, uh, we are working quite closely with each other and uh, for, we are fortunate in that because I think uh, they have also been quite aggressive in uh, rounding up uh, the sale of uh, these uh, dangerous and uh, illegal uh, firecrackers. So are we more prepared this year than we were in the past, in the previous years? I think we are a little bit more prepared. We have made a few uh, uh, effort in uh, making our strategy and preventing uh, the uh, proliferation of these uh, injuries. However, I also am not so sure whether indeed we are succeeding. It is too early to, to say that this 25% increase mm -hmm. of, uh, or decrease of uh, injuries is uh, already a success. So it's too early to say that we are successful. So what are the most common injuries and who recorded the most victims or casualties? Was it children or adults? Unfortunately, the uh, number of uh, injuries essentially are from what we call blast injuries. And uh, again, it's unfortunate that uh, more than 40% uh, of those uh, that are injured as far as the report is of this morning are children uh, from below 10 years old. So how is the awareness campaign uh, by the DOH to make sure that both adults and children know the dangers of firecrackers? Well, in essence, uh, we should be able to, to really uh, do something about this. And if there is something that uh, has to be done, it has to be done uh, in terms of reducing uh, the, the sale maybe of firecrackers for the next uh, two days until, uh, until Christmas, until New Year's Eve. So now that we're, we're only days away till the New Year's, are your hospitals in Metro Manila ready for emergencies? Oh yes, uh, we have uh, actually been ready since the start of just before Christmas time. So uh, as far as preparation, all our major DOH hospitals are on code white since uh, uh, early, you know, the two days before Christmas. And of course, uh, depending on the number of uh, injuries that we'll be seeing during the next two to three days, uh, we may even increase the code from, you know, code uh, white to code blue, if necessary. So among these hospitals and based on past records, which of them have recorded the most victims, the PGH, Reyes Hospital in Manila, East Avenue in Quezon City? Those are the three most, uh, the most busy hospitals during New Year's Eve. Uh, East Avenue Medical Center, Jose Reyes Medical Center, and uh, the Philippine General Hospital. Tamayon, the three hospitals are the BCS. So you have several surgical instruments. People don't really realize the pain and shock one goes through after one is injured to, to a firecracker. A food for thought for people so they avoid being a casualty? Well, this is just a fear factor that we show these instruments, you know, but. Uh, we don't have to use too much or too many of these instruments this coming two days. So on a different issue, the President is due to sign the Reproductive Health Bill passed by Congress in, into law soon. Overall, when, it, when will it be implemented and how much is allocated in the 2013 national budget for contraceptives and condoms? Well, 
essentially uh, as far as uh, the bill is concerned uh, the president is I think ready to sign it anytime and uh, as far as the uh, it, the uh, implementing rules and regulation, we should be ready within the next three days so that we should be able to implement it as soon as possible. Now, with regards to... Uh, uh, now, let me, what was your third question again? Um, so, um, how much is the budget allocated for the 2013, um, the 2013 budget for contraceptives and um, condoms? And will it help actually manage our population? Well, uh, it, it should. It should uh, certainly make a dent in our effort to, to uh, reduce so-called unwanted pregnancies. But uh, in terms of amount of money, uh, we know as far as our general appropriation budget is concerned, it is reasonable, but certainly it's not yet enough. So with regards to sex education, at what age and what grade will it be taught to children? As, I think as far as the bill uh, is concerned, it will be something like uh, 12 to 14 years old How when, uh, when sex education will be started. Mm -hmm. But I guess uh, as far as really the implementation of it, we, you know, the general term is to, to, to really say that we should start sex education at an appropriate age and this should really be uh, an implementation that will depend on our on our dialogue with the parents uh, when uh, when we finally start implementing it. So th there's a, there are going to be discussions, so it won't be implemented immediately, it will be gradual? Oh yes, uh, these are things that uh, you are unable to really implement. In essence, you won't, you won't be able to implement it. Mm -hmm. There has to be preparation for those who are going to teach it, how it's going to be taught, we have to prepare the necessary uh, uh, either pamphlets or brochures or even the books with regards to how sexuality and sex education should be given to our to our uh, to our pupils and students. So now moving on to the syntax law, it's a revenue measure, but you campaign for the health benefits for our people. Will higher prices of cigarettes and alcohol actually reduce and discourage bad habits and reduce risk to uh, our people's health? Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, the expectation is within the first week we should be able to to reduce the number of smokers by uh, by a couple of million people or people or uh, children especially those coming from the uh, the poor segment of our population. So, the final word for you from you, sir, um, with regard to those buying and selling firecrackers a few days away now till um, till the New Year's. Come again. Is there any advice to those buying and selling firecrackers? Now, we're only a few days till the New Year's. Make sure that everybody is safe during the New Year's. Well, uh, if I were to be asked uh, specifically, I would really say that parents should uh, refrain from uh, buying firecrackers on their own and especially letting or allowing their children to, to play around with this. Uh, as I have mentioned, I think, a couple of times, not only this year, but even in the previous years, I've always believed that uh, the freewheeling uh, use of firecrackers should really be uh, prohibited. However, I would strongly suggest that our LGUs, our uh, local executives, should uh, identify a certain uh, place or a certain geographic area wherein they can uh, I, uh, wherein they could allow fireworks and firecrackers to be uh, to be shown to the public, and uh, and that only those adults that have some training on how this firework should be lighted on and be controlled, so that the majority of the public should just be for them. Okay, on that note, thank you very much for joining us on News Live. That was DOH Secretary Enrique Ona. Thank you, sir, and Happy New Year. And same to you, and Happy New Year, too. And I hope that we'll have all a safe and healthy Happy New Year.